from packing his bags and moving to Hollywood to barely being recognized for winning the reality TV show. Here's what happened to Chris Allen from American Idol. You know, as Miley Cyrus would say, Allen hopped off the plane at LAX with a dream and a cardigan. Yep, he was on a mission to follow the Star Trek. Remember all the buzz season eight of American Idol made? It was undeniably one of the most controversial seasons, but it was hella fun to keep up with. American Idol has produced some of the biggest artists of our generation. I'm talking Carrie Underwood, Kelly Clarkson, Jordan Sparks, you name them. So where's the winner of season eight now? Well, after winning the reality TV show, Alan decided to move to Los Angeles. You know what they say, all dreams are made in Hollywood. But after testing the waters in La La Land a little bit, Chris realized that it wasn't the place for him. Yeah, the music star wished he never left his sweet home in Arkansas. It makes sense, though. Adjusting in a big city can't be hard for anyone, especially for a small-town country singer. Before becoming America's sweetheart, Chris was just a college dropout playing one gig after another. Yeah, college wasn't working out for him, and he almost got kicked out several times before he left it for good. The music star was then trying to get his break playing shows in Little Rock and Fayetteville, but you know, those can only take a person so far. So Chris was also working as a shoe salesman, only to make ends meet. This life inspired him to write his first album in 2007, Brand New Shoes. But it only sold less than a thousand copies, so Alan decided to go back to college and complete his degree. Chris auditioned in Kentucky and won the judges' hearts instantly. The star then headed to Hollywood to change his life forever, and fans got the biggest controversies of the reality TV show. Come on, you can't tell me that the American Idol season 8 finale didn't have you biting your nails. Ah, uh, that battle between Alan and Andy Lambert was definitely one for the books. Chris had a rocky start on the show, he wasn't one of the early favorites, and many of his performances weren't even aired. But the star pulled through, and he became the fan favorite on the show overnight. Maybe it was his small-town boy look that won the hearts of girls all over America, or his voice of an angel. But the star definitely made that season one of the best ones yet. More than 100 million votes were cast to decide on a winner, and Chris took home the big win. He walked in as a small-town boy playing gigs, and walked out with big bucks and a solid record deal. Now, I will say, this win was controversial as hell. People were super suspicious of Chris's win because his home state, Arkansas, had 38% of the vote. Why is that weird? Well, because that state only had a population of 2.86 million people. This would mean Arkansans cast an average of more than 13 votes for every living person in the state. But you know, at the end of the day, he got the win. And even Judge Paula Abdul defended him by saying Chris was a big name in America. After bagging a record deal, Chris went straight to the studio and did what he does best, write songs and make some good old tunes. Yeah, he hated LA, but it was still the place that gave him everything he ever wanted. The Arkansas native scored his first hit in 2009 with Live Like We're Dying, and it became platinum selling over a million copies. Let me tell you, it was just the start. He released his self-titled album the same year, and it sold over 300,000 copies. That was the only major success Alan saw in his music career. Yep, his hopes and dreams took a hit, and he wasn't able to stay relevant in the industry. Plus, it got way too hard for him to manage. The music star released his second major EP, Thank You Camellia, in 2012, and it failed to chart. Yep, the poor guy even lost his contract over it. Can't blame him, though. Chris and his wife, Katie O'Connell, welcomed their first child, Oliver Neal, the following year in 2013. Fatherhood consumed all his nights, so there wasn't any free time left to promote his music. Alan has no regrets, though. He was already fighting himself in hot waters at the studio every other day, fighting his label and producers to let him have creative freedom. That's one thing almost every songwriter deals with. Chris wanted to write songs he connected with, and the label wanted chart-topping hits. Talk about a recipe for disaster. Speaking of disaster, the same year Chris got into a car accident that almost ruined his career. LA definitely was not working out for the star, was it? Alan shattered his wrist in a terrible car accident. 
The singer told Yahoo Music that he was scared for his life because every time he would look at his wrist, he would think of how he'd never be able to play music again. Come on, you can't be a songwriter from a small town without strumming your own beats. The singer was in a very dark place, but his family helped him get better. Plus, after three surgeries and playing with a cast on over and over and over again, Alan got the hang of playing with a broken wrist. It wasn't the same as before, of course, but hey, he could still play. The singer has been enjoying fatherhood since. There's not one Chris Allen interview where he doesn't mention his kids. The American Idol winner has talked about his kids getting the singing gene. Yep, Allen said his 10-year-old is always singing and has great musical ability. But he doesn't want to actually pursue music. I mean, he's 10, so I'm sure that can change. Allen's also welcomed two other kids. He's a father of three now. Chris and Katie welcomed their daughter, Rosie Elizabeth, in 2016. A second baby boy joined the family in 2019. And believe it or not, but six-year-old Oliver got to decide his name, Marlo Neal. Chris has talked about how Oliver has been making career decisions for the music star since he was seven. He's the first person the singer plays his songs to, and the boy gets to decide if it's good or not. You can call it giving a child control of your career, but I think it's the cutest thing ever. Chris loves his kids, his family, and they've been his top priority. But music is his love too, so he's definitely released his fair share of songs over the years. The singer's audience is a lot smaller and different now. Becoming a global pop star wasn't in the cards for him, and it's not like he wants it either. Alan loves being a singer-songwriter from Arkansas, and that's what he's planning on sticking with. It allows him to do both the things he loves the most, make music and spend time with his family since there's not much touring the country in a tour bus involved. He just does small gigs in Nashville and Arkansas for the sake of it. Chris has released three more records since Thank You, Camellia, and they haven't broken any charts just like their forerunner. Alan put out Horizon in 2014, Letting You In in 2016, and Something About Christmas in the same year. His latest record release was a compilation album 10 in 2019. But don't think he's done. The guy drops singles here and there. He dropped Hallelujah for now in 2021. And to everyone's surprise, it was able to make a few headlines. Chris has talked about how becoming an underground artist was exactly what he needed. I mean, look at the season 8 runner-up, Andy Lambert. He didn't end up winning the show, but he saw far more success than Alan. Chris, on the other hand, he's just a guy who gets recognized every once in a while. And he's not even expecting that. Chris has talked about how fans walk up to him when he's walking around Nashville, and he's taken by surprise every time. It doesn't happen too often, though, and the singer doesn't expect people to know who he is at all. But he's been humbled a few times, too. Like that one time he said he was mistaken for Danny Gokey, who was a top three contestant on American Idol. I mean, Chris's career is biting the dust slowly, but the star has no regrets. He's taking it slow, spending time with the fam, doing a lot of charity, and living a good life. So, there you have it. From barely being recognized for winning a reality TV show to packing his bags and moving to Hollywood, this was what happened to Chris Allen from American Idol, 